the idea really uh, to do something in Africa in a roundabout way came from Michelle Hoffman herself. She had four children of her own. She had a daycare in Minnesota and she taught early childhood in, in the American school here in Muscat. And um, she just really loved kids and, and she talked even about adopting other kids and what that would be like. Julia loved other kids. In fact, years ago, she, Julia had told her grandmother that uh, she wanted to have 100 kids. So, really the idea of, of helping kids in Africa came from then. So when Michelle and Julia and Martyr were killed, and the discussion started about how you know, we could honor their memory in a meaningful way, it just kind of naturally moved towards what we could do for children. So many people had been positively influenced by the Hoffmans that uh, it just everybody wanted to rally around this project and get involved. The notable feature of uh, the drive-in from Entebbe through Camp Holland all the way to Jinja was just the sheer industriousness of the population. I mean, there's everyone was moving, everyone had something going on, lots of small shops, lots of agriculture. So it was somewhat surprising. I, I wasn't sure quite what to expect, but certainly the thing that I took away from the drive-in was just the industriousness of the place. Everyone selling, moving, I mean, it was just full of, of activity and busyness.
in particular that was pretty neat was I was just sitting back with uh, Master Sam's wife, and there was this one little girl that was walking around the property holding Drew's hand, just following, just going around the property, round and round, and she was just chattering away and looking at him, just telling him a story about something. And I finally got his attention and said, Drew, do you understand a word she's saying? And he said, not a word. I guess that just didn't seem to matter that much. Our trip to Africa was a completely eye-opening experience. It's something I think every high schooler should have the opportunity to take part in, is going to a third world country and experiencing their culture firsthand. The thing that struck me the most, specifically in Jinja, was the joy that everyone had there. I mean, the population lives with so little, yet they seem happy all the time, especially in the orphanage. I'm sure they were just happy for us to go there and hang out with them and play and when we gave them shirts and blankets and footballs to play with and baseballs it just I don't know, can completely change their lives I mean it seems like some of the simplest things but the those moments when we were running around the field throwing the football it's something they will never forget and hopefully one day I hope to be able to go back there and meet those kids when they're grown up. One of the interesting features and the uh, biggest tourist attraction in the area that we were in was the Nile River. So the source of the Nile, at least as claimed by the Ugandans, is uh, Lake Victoria.